Let's collect dailies and then move on. Oh, it's Zenkron? Alright. Yeah, I know. That's why I asked for it. I didn't know, like, if you were already someone I who followed me on YouTube or not, so I had to ask for your username. Alright, so let's see. Let's start with three from a uh, bomber. And then move on to everyone else. Start with these three from the 14th and then come back to them afterwards. Alright, Servant into the Void. Astrograph in hand is usually nice. Ragnarika is annoying, but nothing too bad. Yeah. I saw them. Uh, but, uh... I pulled for them because I was pulling for the, uh, Aromage stuff. Because I love Aromages. And only pulled one Ragnarika you are. Congrats on 50. Oh, thanks, man. 50 already, nice. Really appreciate it. Small milestone, but hey. Every milestone is a good one for me. Oh, I was hoping for, uh... I was hoping for, a uh, Scarred... Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Rising, maybe this is when it comes out. There it is. The only thing that saved, dude, was that you're not using Crystal Clearing that you wanted to end fast, yeah. Well, when a deck is annoying to face against, you don't want to BM for 20 turns like you like to do. And hard red negate? No. Abyss did not negate Servant. That is surprising. And now, uh, that'll summon Jackal King, I'm, re I'm assuming. Reflection summon Jackal King. Yep, now you got the double negate. Hot Red tried to negate. Yep, he tried to negate. <laughs> so you literally forced out both disruptions already, which is nice. It's almost 10 p.m. You're not in the mood for BMing. Yeah. There goes the field. Negate. And that should be game. Very nice. I love it, like, whenever you chain in Demion to a spell trap negate, and then they try to chain an effect to target Demion to negate him, but it never works because he has a spell counter. That's always the best. Honestly, I think he could have really uh, uh, hindered your turn if he would have just negated Servant. I think if he would have negated Servant when you activated it, that would have severely hindered your plays. Alright. Servant and then Sloth. Ooh, brick hand. Hate to see it. Alright, good. This way you can still normal summon sloth after the fact. 
and actually trigger Servant now as you'll have a third spell counter. Into another Servant. Going for an Endymion. Promethean Reborn. Okay, just Ambla Whale. I'd have at least used Electromite first. You know, instead of just reborning it, you know, Electromite, pop your chicken game so your opponent doesn't get any draws off of you. And then you could have, you know, maybe Tribute Summon Sloth or something. But you don't really have. You could have like tribute summoned Astrograph for Sloth. That way, like your opponent literally wouldn't be able to synchro summon now, even though you have Promethean, and you would still be able to trigger it. Why don't you? Why doesn't you use Starving? I don't even use Starving Venom. Yeah, not even. I don't even really use Starring Venom, mostly because it requires two Dark Pendulum monsters. Ashing a draw one. Hilarious. Bro basically minus himself. And he's making Typhon. Typhon, as we all know, is the auto lose card. And he gave you back Promethean. So he has Phalanx, I think, the Banish one, and that's about it. And you top deck into Endymion. I mean, Phalanx can just banish whatever monster you choose to summon. Alright, right into Selene. Valor. Negate the Veiler. And this is his last chance to use his back row. And now it's all gone. Nice. Oh, that was a rage quit. Is that connection field? That was, you already know, that was a rage quit. Yeah, I don't know why he did it either. He should have banished Servant or Selene. Ooh. Droll? Hey, that thank goodness you had the call to buy for it. And before he also has Maxi and Ash in hand. Nope, no Ash. And another call by the grave. I would have used spell power mastery first. Yeah, I would have used spell power mastery first. But hey. Could have drawn, sir, could have used Servant off of Spell Power Mastery, used the upstart to at least put a counter on it, but again, that's gambling on a top deck. Plus, again, you've already Pendulum Summoned. The, the second called by. Bro's playing Droll and Ghost Ogre. What hand trap deck is this dude playing? Math mech or something? Who knows? Now you can get a draw with a Basilisk or an extra draw off of a Electromite and Basilisk. So essentially you get a draw two here if you top deck something decent, but you already Pendulum Summon, so it doesn't really matter if your low scale disappears.
Bell Power Mastery, which is dead. Yep, add that back. And then use it as fodder to pop something. Pop Basilisk, I guess. So pretty much a Demion and a Prayer, which seems to work out. Against this is either uh, Phantom Knights or uh, or Salamangrate. No oh, Gold Pride. Never mind. I haven't seen Gold Pride in a long time. Oh, he wanted to attack over Servant. I think he wanted to, not Servant, but Selene. I think he wanted to attack over Selene, but couldn't. And then he's using Prohibition. Double Prohibition. If you had a way to search Garuda, you could just start popping him. Yo, how's it going? <laughs> and then, yeah, he just freaking leaves because that double prohibition did nothing for him. Very nice. Alrighty. That is hilarious. Double prohibition trying to lock out of playing. Doesn't matter. Alright, next up is Winda. And then you can just, you know, Astrograph, or not Astrograph, but, uh, Axis Co. pop it. That way you can still use Endymion. Jeez, it's so dark when the sky is overcast. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, Rasuru, you missed uh, the rank duel part of the stream. So we're on like for like the last like remainder of the hour or whatever. I'm watching a uh, subscriber replays, or in this case, follower replays. But we did hit we did hit master rank on this stream. Got a got like a good two to three replays to stay for my next rank duel video. And then of course if you uh, and then of course uh, if you uh. If you still want to follow me on YouTube and you can't like watch the streams, I still upload the stream onto YouTube after the fact. But I upload it into three parts because I can't upload the whole stream at once, so you know. If you ever miss a stream, you can just check it out on my uh, YouTube channel the following day. Alright, so pretty much only disruption for the moment is a Jackal King. Yeah, Winda likes using Pendulum Witch as a tech. Yeah, it can brick scales with its monster effect, but only if it's a normal or Pendulum Summoned. Red Eyes. Probably just uses a Resonator. Red Rising. Eight skill, good, yeah. Yeah, you definitely, I think you want to negate Red Rising. But that's all he has. More spell counters on the Citadel. Ice Barrier, Red Eyes, Resonator, yeah. All them spell counters. I think this is like, feels like it's like a Synchro Pile deck. It's probably just Resonators using Ice Barriers as well. I do like Pendulum Witch's art, though. Her artwork is pretty nice. 
This is enough for a game. Looks like it. Oh, just Red Dragon Archfiend? Okay. Negating? Oh, bouncing itself so you can field wipe. No, no, never mind. Guess you're not. Yeah, it stays in scale unless he destroys it. This is a this is their budget list. This is a new account for Windows, so they don't have, you know, all the cards they need. So they're using what they have. Mirror Force, negate. Okay, never mind. Ooh, does this let you search Servant? Yep, search Servant, but I think you've already... Nope, haven't used Servant yet. No, yes, you have. Okay. Card destruction, okay, just to get a draw one. And he actually top decks Crimson Gaia. Now it's actually a pretty good top deck for him. Into the knowledge. That's level 10 Synchro Baron. Nope, Dispater. Okay. Not negating with Dark. Not negating Dark. Oh, yeah, you can search Jackal King because that's 1500 or less defense. Add another servant. I'm guessing you're gonna pendulum summon now? Yep. Jackal King, and then you can servant summon another monster from the deck. Hold on, when that when that have just destroyed reflection? Shuffled it into your deck, destroy it. Yeah, it would have just, yeah, it wouldn't have negated. It would have just uh, destroyed reflection, which wouldn't have mattered anyway. So Dispater would have still got sent back to the extra deck. And then resummon the servant. You still needed a body? Ah, uh, okay. But still, very nice. All right, let's see who was next on the list. Oh, uh, Elixir Mage is next. <laughs> you also need a body, yeah. All right, got two here from Elixir. Ah, Sky Striker and Demion. Nice. Going second against you, Bell. Oh boy. Let's see if they're gonna try to Ibly lock you. Hold on, let me check to see if you're running the tech for it. Probably not. Nope, okay. Really needed. Okay. Alright, not the best. Hey, they don't have to be the best. They need You haven't got it. Well, I've got Iblit on this stream. Appaloosa. Where's the Unchained stuff? There it is.
And then Maxi draw phase. Going second, so you're going to try to OTK anyways. Multi-roll. Double called by, okay. Really? Stopping multi-roll? He really wants to be able to respond to your spells. That's hilarious. But now your servant is safe to get resolved now. Slow getting card speed there, Brandon or D-Link. Dismantle him. Still gotta worry about Appaloosa. Widow Anchor actually changes that issue, never mind. So take control of the Phantom. Jackal King. And that's an Endymion wipe right there. Widow at three, yeah. Ashing a draw one, okay. Negating the ash of a draw one. Yep, Widow Anchor draw again. You only play two Widow Anchors. Speed this up a little bit. Selene. Born Reflection. Bounce the Terror Incarnate. Do you have Double Jackal King? No. You gotta worry about uh, Spirit, though. I'd say Spirit of Yubel is what you gotta worry about. But it looks like he doesn't have it. Very nice. Surprised that with that with that Maxi he didn't draw into a spirit of you, Bell. Alright. Yeah, which is why usually I try to get, you know, if I'm going up against you, Bell, and I usually manage to break their board, I try to have two Jackal Kings that I haven't used yet. That way I can negate Spirit of You Bell summoning, and then negate Spirit of You Bell's effect when it gets destroyed. You pretty much need two monster negates to uh, stop Spirit of You Bell during the battle phase. All right, Cash Tira. Voiceless voice, okay. Yeah, for some reason, I always get bad hands going against Voiceless Voice. Ooh, multi-roll. Alright, Ash. What, eat up a negate? Yep, as usual. Why do they hate multi-roll so much? It is. There's the Widow Anchor. But you can't target them, can you? And Altart Kagari. Use it again. Widow Anchor again. Really nice alt art. You can target Fenrir, true. Oh no, anyways, do it again.
I'm surprised he didn't activate a uh, Fenrir. He to steal a fire from the opponent's grave, steal that ash. Into Selene. Into Selene. Top three, non-targeting. Did you already Pendulum Summon? Like, I feel like he could have, you know, summoned another Endymion, you know? Beforehand. Even though, true, you only need three pops. I guess, not, I, guess I wasn't paying attention. Maybe you did already Pendulum Summon. But nope, you're not done. That's why you're not done. <laughs> And he's out of there. Very nice. And then next up is a uh, Zenkron. Let's see if I can find them. There you are. August 30th and September 14th. Ooh, Servant with three spell counters and an Astrograph. That is a beautiful starting hand. Against Dark Magician. Okay. Branded Fusion. Yep. So, got a Mirror Jade. Top decking into Endymion. That's really good. Ooh, and then Institution and Master Cerberus. Solemn judgmenting a chicken game. That's hilarious. Alright, so he's gonna banish your servant. Good thing is you still have Institution and Master Cerberus for follow-up. Like, he literally could have saved that Solemn Judgment for something like Institution or Master Cerberus. It would have done a whole lot more damage. And then Garuda to pop the... Oh, Garuda to force out the Mirror Jade. That's hilarious. And since it was destroyed by its own effect, I don't think uh, Mirror Jade reborns either. Yep, that's a hilarious way to get rid of the Mirror Jade. And that's combo there. And another institution as well. You're sad that Dragon Link combos aren't that present? Well, yeah, it's because it's because they got a uh, Chaos Ruler banned. That's why. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That way you don't have to worry about its destruction effect because it was left by its because it left the field because of the player's own card effect. Yeah, ever since they banned Chaos Ruler and uh, Wyver Burster, the deck got weaker. But now, Wyver Burster is unbanned. But still, definitely not nearly as strong because of Chaos Ruler, which they 
abused. Very nice. Ooh, okay. DDD. Okay, cool. And it's still. It's a crime. It's a crime that DDD still doesn't have a single animation. Yeah, Borland is their main end board goal. A uh, negate that you can't respond to is pretty good. What does this trap do? So essentially, you have one, two, three negates, technically four, maybe five, with 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 Deus. Well, not really negate, more like uh, absorbing effects or whatever. Yep. <laughs> well, you still have another negate. Caesar inside its own deck, yeah. And negate again. Not a once per turn. Nope. Probably gonna summon another phantom. Divisor, King, Deus. Yeah, D it's nice seeing Deus and Caesar inside their own deck. And then you're gonna burn for 3k? Okay, you protect. Oh, it's only 1k. I thought this was the other one that made you burn for 2k. High King Genghis. Copernicus. And Banish. Force out the, uh... Phantom. Ooh, Kali Yuga. I mean, I feel like Kali Yuga is fine because it's being used in its own deck. Yeah, Kali Yuga is fine because it's being used in its own deck. Kali Yuga being used the way it was meant to be used. Not summoning it at the start of your opponent's turn to fucking lock them out of playing the game. Very nicely done. Uh, let's see. Did anyone else have any replays? Or was... This... Oh yeah, Bomber still has three more. That's right, Bomber still has three more. And then we can uh, wrap up the stream there. Two more? I thought you had six. Oh no, you're right, just two. And that's fine. So yeah, we'll watch these two, and then end it. Yeah, because again, yeah, you're using you're using uh, Kali Yuga the way it's uh, meant to be used. You should friend me too. Uh, I'll show you my duelist ID after we watch these two replays. Yeah. Got the Basilisk to make your Electromite. Probably had to pendulum summon the Sloth. Valor. Hey, you called the Valor right. Or you called you summon Jackal King correctly. But double negates. Promethean? Nope, beyond. Okay. 
Trying to make Dragon Links with pens to see if it makes the deck better? I don't think it does. I think the archetypes clash too much. But hey, you at least have Sloth and a Monster Negate, so that makes it better. Oh, against you, Bell. Well, they can't summon Phantom or Spirit. One well, Phantom, I mean. They can't summon Phantom or any of their, uh... They can't summon Phantom or any of their, uh, Unchained stuff. But yeah, they have, uh, Nightmare Pain already, so... I don't think it's lethal yet, maybe? Oh, yeah, not lethal. Oh, you have, you have replays as well, Jaeger? All right. All right, so you got to figure out a way to deal with you, Bell, while you still have Sloth on the field, just in Demion. I think you could have, uh, negate, nice. I think you could have used a Reflection. You could have used a Reflection to summon Endymion, you know, to bounce uh, the uh, Nightmare Pain. But again, you have another Endymion. Just a whole bunch of other stuff you could do, which is hilarious. But you can only negate one of them. And Goddess, okay. Very nicely done. Well, yeah, Dark Worm does, obviously, because, you know, now it's... now Dark Worm is unlimited. against you, Bell, again. All right, standard you, Bell, combos from the opponent. Yeah. And Demion and Supreme King mixing it together, I feel like lowers the consistency of Endymion, because with Endymion, you want a good amount of spells to be activating. And the deck still bricks a lot, even with the deck being over half spells. I like how they always have to summon double Phantom to play around Imperm. Ash. That sucks, but whatever. You have Servant and Upstart with Spell Power Mastery, which is good. And that should be enough for the pop. Yep. Yeah, Jank can be fun, you know, when it actually works and doesn't, like, you know, brick you seven out of eight games. How much damage is this? 5,200. I haven't used the Institution yet, which is nice. Chamber Dragon made normal summon, searches three spells. Good on paper, reality is trash, usually, yeah. I mean, Servant has always been a two card combo. Like, Servant plus Spell Power Mastery itself is a two card combo, you know?
searching the Magister, since you already using Demiot's Pendulum effect. Two from the extra deck, one from the hand. And that should be game. Yep. Alright. And then lastly, I believe we just have three from Jaeger. Where is he? There you are. Teratop and Tanky Tom Borg is a free wind synchro. For or two bodies for whatever needs, alright. Showing off two losses, okay. Yeah, take care, Elixir. Actually, hold on. I want to do this in a, I want to do this in a different way. I think I'll show off the losses first, and then we'll watch the uh, victory last. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that thing said 22 turns. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's a 22 turn duel, so we'll watch that one last. Ooh, Raid Raptors. Yeah, with Raid Raptors, you gotta get Endymion out stat, but this is uh, Supreme King. Going second. Going second against Raid Raptors with Zark seems like pretty much a losing battle. Yeah. I'm trying to see when the animation comes in. Nope, okay. Guess whenever he flips summons. Oh, is this what I think it is? There's a level 7. Yep, there, here he comes. Oh, Kali Yuga, yep, there it is. Being used in the wrong deck. I mean, it's negated, but it still stays on the field, at least. Yeah, just bash over what monsters you can. Electromite for the draw. Pendulum summon again. Using Imseti instead of, uh... I'm surprised you used Imseti instead of, uh... I guess you wanted to make the Psychic End Punisher, but, you know. Do they have an out the Psychic End Punisher? I guess they're gonna burn you to death. Yeah, Rising Rebellion, right? Is that how it just burns you? Destroying all of their monsters on the field? Only up to 5k? Yeah. Okay, so you're still alive. It's still unaffected though, right? Yeah, it's still unaffected. 
Oh, I think that's why. I would have not attacked. I would have not attacked with Msteady. That's what it was. Since my since the opponent's life points is now lower, your Psychic and Punisher is now affected. So I think I would just attack with Psychic and Punisher. And then that way on the following turn, you know, you could just boost with the Punisher again and hopefully attack for a game. Because now he can deal with your Psychic and Punisher without issues now. Yeah, Braider's Knight probably into Arc Rebellion. Nope, Brave. Yeah, pretty much. Because, yeah, your the opponent's life points is lower, so now Psychic and Punisher is affected. And he just burns you for 3k. So I guess even if you didn't activate it, I guess even if you didn't activate it, he still had an out to it, unfortunately. I mean, I would have said good effort from the opponent. Yeah, I would have said good effort from the opponent if it wasn't for the fact that he, you know, Kali Yuga locked you, you know? Yeah. It's just dumb that that's like one of the, uh, that's really like one of the only really ways that makes uh, Raid Raptors uh, a threat is that they have to Kali Yuga you. Oof, brick hand. Now you can only summon a uh, Gate Magician from the extra deck, but it's the only one you have anyways. I mean, that was pretty much... Well, I guess you did need that. That way you could go into Electromite. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying. It's just annoying that there are some who do use it. So, ooh, okay. Luna... Luna Light... Tier Luna Light. So I think this is actually just Luna Light. I've seen this build. They only use uh they only use the East to special summon because it's a level four. That's what I've seen at least. Let's see if it actually is tier though. Okay, yeah, see uh, yeah, it's actually just Luna Light. They just use the tier cards as level four bodies. This is for me, yeah. Because I do want to play uh, Luna Lights, but I don't want to play the version that uses Tailorman cards, mostly because they're URs. Chimera. And it can't be targeted. Is he going to try to non target destroy Zark? Oh, he is playing Kit Cow. Never mind. All the respect I had just immediately went down the drain. He's gonna like Goddess Zark or Zeus it away. SP can't banish it. Probably going after gate zero. Wait, what? How is Zeus turn? Oh, its effects were negated. Wait, no, how is it? The Xyz? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot this thing negates. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Does this bait the Rucolos? Yes, it does, but he still ends up losing, so. Ooh, it didn't negate. Interesting, hold on. Negate the activation. If you do destroy it, you miss the level four. What level four? Is there something I'm... Yeah, I think I missed something. What did I miss from the level four? The rank four? What, this thing? 
negate the effect of all except Beast Warriors until... I mean, yeah, but I'm trying to figure out why... Uh, I'm trying to figure out why uh, Rukulos... Wait. Rukulos is negated? Oh, yeah, the rank 4, I think, still negates it. Yeah. Yeah, it's still negated because of uh, the rank 4. That is right. That's why uh, Astrograph didn't get negated. Okay. But unfortunately, this is still a loss. Luna Lights can OTK pretty well going second. Ooh, and he milled Luna Light perfume. And yep, there goes Leo Dancer, I think. Yep, there it is. And Dugaris to boost it up. Because that's double attack. That's a game. No, going for the draw too. Well, it's still game anyways. Still though, I do like seeing Luna Light. So, despite the fact that it was lost, it was still a good duel. But yeah, I'm still not going to play the uh, tier cards in Luna Light. I'm gonna have to speed this one up because this thing is this duel is 22 turns. Oh, okay, runic stun. That's probably why. All right, what floodgates does he have set first? Main phase two, okay. Ah. Well, yeah, it is pretty much a brick. Yep, okay, yep, Horus, done. No surprise. Why not go for the, uh... Why are you not going for the uh, King Sark stuff? Is there like a reason you're not going for the King Sark stuff? Because now Amano Iwato is permanently on the field. Like, I get you can't use Imseti because of Tyrant's tirade, but still. I guess that's why. You can't get him into the graveyard now. Oh, that's annoying. But you do manage to survive. Alright, halfway through. Set max C, since that's not doing anything. Are these the only Horus cards? I guess, since I know Tyrant's Tyrant's preventing you from, you know, activating, but yeah, you do need a way to send them. Need to force out that trap one more time. Cause he can only use the trap one more time. So you're gonna need a way to bait it. That way you can't activate anymore. Guess you draw another scale. That's not Lightworm.
All right, just passing. You have nothing to search with Wings of Light. Ah, that's why. Okay, I see you. Just biding your time to get your Emsetti in the grave. That's why. Okay. And he, and he took the bait. Nice. I know that was an annoying duel. I know for a fact that would be an annoying duel to play against. Reminds me of my 33 turn duel against Stun, and I pretty much only won because I managed to deck him out because of because he used time tearing Morganite. Oh, but yeah, I think now I have enough uh, replays to uh, make another video, another rank duel video. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this would be something I put out on uh, Saturday. That way, you know, during the week, I can still upload my streams to YouTube. So I'll record these uh, later in the week. So I'll have this video uploaded on Saturday. But for uh, Rossaru, who wanted my uh, duelist ID, there it is. So, like, you know, give me a follow. I'll follow you back, you know. And then hopefully you can tune into uh, more of my streams in the future. But for now, uh, that's going to end it for this stream. So we got to Master Rank, so... Again, I'd say we're we're sitting pretty comfortably for the rest of the month. So, I uh, hope you all enjoy your day, and uh, I will talk to you all on Wednesday for the next stream. Peace.